Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a review of the latest in the bombshell range from Victoria's Secret. It is their new bombshell sun drenched. So I'm gonna be letting you know what this smells like, how it differs to the original. If you're new here, then hello, welcome. We are all about perfumes. I have hundreds of videos just like this going through whole different um, new releases, perfume ranges, and I have my blog where I do have an article that goes through every version of bombshell shell that's ever existed and we can still get some of the discontinued ones and if you're a regular viewer do check to see if you're actually subscribed you can turn on notifications as well and you can subscribe to my newsletter which is linked down below in the description box where you can also pre-order Empress my perfume coming out later this year and vote for me for UK blogger of the year award um, which is free to vote for and open for a few more weeks Cool, so pretty much every summer Victoria's Secret come out with a limited edition version. We've had a lot of um, Victoria's Secret bombshell sun kissed, summer, um, oh, so many beach, uh, like so many different ones. This one this year is called Sun Drenched and um, I think they've changed the bottles slightly. They're using these metal things on the front which is really nice and I noticed that it is an eau de parfum as well. Original bombshell is an eau de toilette so definitely appreciate that they're making things a bit stronger and it has this beautiful like sunset orange um, colour to it. I love the colour of the lid and the bottle and everything. It's really nice, really super summery. So the original Victoria's Secret bombshell is a passion fruit fragrance and um, sweet passion fruit, very fresh, daytime, innocent, girly scent. I would say that the this new one, um, Bombshell Sun Drenched, also has that daytime, girly feel to it. The main note here is guava blossom. Um, to me, I actually get quite an orangey feel to the fragrance. And of course, being in this orange like packaging as well, and maybe that's like, I don't know, psychosomatic or whatever you call it. But I found at first in particular I got a really fruity blast and then as it settles I start to get more of that sort of guava blossom, a bit more floral, it has a peony note in as well. And then it also describes itself as having a sand fragrance note. Now I'm pretty sure that sand doesn't have a smell um, and I don't smell sand. I smell like fruity cocktail and lush palm trees, greenery, tropical, it definitely smells summery, it smells like a hot country, it smells lush. It's a refreshing scent, but it's not just like a, you know, an orange refreshing citrus vibe, it definitely has a slightly sweet floral undertone, almost like a vanilla orchid type vibe underneath it. Um, and I think being an eau de parfum as well, that really helps. I was really pleased to see that it doesn't have Lily of the Valley in because a lot of these limited editions of Bombshell have used Lily of the Valley and it's not a fragrance note that I really like. I find it quite old fashioned. Um, this one definitely doesn't feel old fashioned. I think if you're looking for a everyday, simple yet fruity but still has a bit of body behind it perfume then this will be good definitely for like hot weathers for the summer and I know a lot of the sort of orangey fruity perfumes can be fresh when you spray them but they fade very quickly because there's not much else going on in there and those citrusy orangey notes tend to just be a top note they don't really last so I really like this guava blossom heart note which is really lasting yeah it's nice definitely a soaky approved fragrance i definitely like it it definitely feels like a sun drenched smell it's a lovely smell it's definitely tropical and it's definitely for summer and i'm obsessed with the bottle <laughs> So yeah guys, let me know if you tried this, what do you think of it? I have to say the only thing that's a bit annoying is the lid won't stay on, it like wobbles and stuff. Um, it's not a very good fit. But apart from that, I do think it's good. But yeah, let me know what you think. Do you like it? Are you a fan of original Bombshell? Which one from all of them is your favourite? Let me know in the comments down below. And I do have that article that goes through them all as well, which I'll link in the description box. But yeah, that's it guys. So thank you so much for watching as always. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.